you know, one thing that you and I both have in common, we're both 37 years old. I'd like to say that we're not old. Are we old, Anthony? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're not old, but I'm old and I'm, 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 I'm getting up there in age for boxing. Uh, mm-hmm. to get hit in the face uh, i'm sure you ain't getting hit in the face right now <laughs> no but i'm getting i'm getting I, i'm getting up there for boxing especially when these young boys coming in uh and, and you know taking over the sport i'm not gonna be that old guy that sit there and take punishment and be messed up you know afterwards are you are you feeling that that difference at 37 than maybe 27 and how much of a difference is there if if any uh it is different i mean your body you know you take mm-hmm. wear and tear on your body i bet it, that's 10 years you know 10 years of wear and tear uh so it is different but you still you know push through and, and do the same thing that you've been doing to get to where you are and that's what i've been doing you've been performing at still a very high level um you're still one of the top rated super middleweights in the world if, if things go according to plan you win this fight um how many more years ideally would you like to get out of boxing None. None. <laughs> None. Just keep. Nope. I, I I just want I, I want to win this fight and hopefully get the get the fight. Uh, you know, the winner of the main event. Uh, if not, then it's a high possibility that I'll hang it up. Mm-hmm. It, just because I, I I'm 37 years old, man, and and it's a uh, you know I got kids at home that I've been gone from. You know, sacrifice. You got to make sacrifice to get to where you want to be, and I made them sacrifices already. Uh, so I, I'm just looking forward to, you know, the opportunity to get, you know, the winner. Mm-hmm. And you've been at the top, your position there, obviously in this fight, you know, further on up the bill, it would seem that you're, you have that positioning. Is there any frustration that, that um, the pieces don't always move as quickly as you'd like, considering that, that you have been the champion? Uh, Somewhat, somewhat, but you know, you, you got to go with it. I mean, it's boxing. Boxing is all never a hundred percent of what you're going to get. You know, it, the only time it's a hundred percent is when that bell ring and you guys are in that square. Uh, but like I say, I, I, I'm prepared for anything. I'm prepared to go out here and showcase my talent on a code main event for sure. You've been talking about kind of this plan, how you, how you want to get the winner of that main event. Marcos Hernandez, um, you know, is a tough opponent. Um, how much have you studied him and, and, and what's kind of your assessment of him? Uh, I, I don't watch a lot of tape. My coaches do and, and we and he implement it into the gym and tell me what I need to do or just do this. And, you know, and I listen to it. I execute that. Uh, I know he's a tough opponent, uh, but I'm going in there, focus on what I can do. I know what I can do. I know my ability. I know what I need to do to win a fight. And I'm trying to win with spectacular, uh, a spectacular win. You've now second opponent in a row that maybe somebody that that people aren't as familiar with, but has you know despite the losses has been in against some really tough opposition and has performed well against them. Um, I'm I'm curious, do you view it the same way that this is one of those guys that that um, can be very dangerous considering his pedigree? Uh, definitely. I mean, he's been in there with some tough opponents, uh, but so have I. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I say, I, I, I'm more focused on what I need to do than what he can do or what he should do, whatever. Uh, I just know if I go in there, perform at my best ability that nobody can beat me. You, uh, you're from a fighting family. You and your, your brother have, have been in the sport a long time and have done amazing things. Um, I'm curious, you know, as far as Andre, um, how, how do you guys help each other out? Do you guys, uh, you know, train together? How, how does that relationship uh, today as it was maybe throughout the years? Uh, we train together sometime. We got in the ring. My last fight, uh, we got in the ring. Uh, he haven't been to this camp yet. Uh, he'll be here Monday, but, you know, we always talk probably every day, if not every day, every other day. Uh, and he tell me, I mean, he looked the guy up too. He tell me what I really need to do to, 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 to be victorious. And uh, we got each other back, man. That's never going to change. How beneficial is that having someone that's, you know, close in age, your blood that, that knows what it's like to be there. What, what, what kind of a resource is he is that maybe other people don't understand um, how beneficial that is? Uh, it's real beneficial because he been in there. He been at the way that I am. And he knows what what it takes to to win or 
or or have a knockout or you know just have your hand raised at the end of, of the show but uh i'm just proud that he's my brother and uh mm-hmm. that i can rely on him when i need some help or if i just need to talk to him obviously you're focused on your fight but you're you know as you just said you know i really want the winner of this main event who do you think if you were to get the winner who do you think you're gonna end up getting don't even care I care less <laughs> I gotcha. care less, honestly. I just want the opportunity. Mm-hmm. I think the um, opportunity is everything. The the division, the super middleweight division, there's some very good fighters there, you included, obviously. Um, when you hear stuff like uh, Jose Uzcategui, who just tested positive for, for banned substances, you know, when you hear news like that, what does that mean to you as a fighter? And, and, and how do you view that news when you hear someone's doing that kind of stuff? I mean, I'm happy because they caught him. Uh, mm-hmm. You can't have people in a sport. I mean, you know, you, of course you suspend them as first go around, but you just can't have people in the sport just cheating. Uh, that's mm-hmm. what it is. You know, when, you, when you're not on an even playing field, uh, you got to get rid of the guys for a certain period of time and see if they learn their lesson. And if they didn't, you know, you keep suspending them. Uh, but at some point you got to ban them for life or boxing, you know, for cheating. Uh, I mean, that's what we're, we're cleaning up the sport. That's what it takes one day at we've, a time we've seen the the progress with vada in your mind i mean you're the person in the in the in the field you're the this is your career how rampant of a problem do you think it is today i think it's big i think they coming out with stuff that people can't test for you know you come out with things every day that people take that vada's not testing for because it's new or something like that but we'll crack we'll eventually crack down on it and and, and figure it out um, one of the final questions for me here, um, obviously your brother fought Uskatagi. Have you talked to him about his feelings about if you guys had even a chance to kind of communicate about that? Oh, we didn't. I just got out the gym not too long ago, probably mm-hmm. an hour and a half ago. And I've been on mm-hmm. here. So, uh, but I, I didn't, we'll talk more than likely, but you know, the past is a pass. Uh, that's what he going to say, you know, as br- water under the bridge, you can't bring back that. You can't test his blood from back then. So you know, you can't keep dwelling on the past. So I'm pretty sure that's what he'll say. And uh, we, we just move on, man. Kind of mm-hmm. take our losses, you know, with the wins. Final question for me. Um, if they were to say to you, hey, you know what? Canelo is going to take a break. He might go in a different direction or Caleb if he wins. How about fighting yeah, Benavides? Step in. How about- no, I'm not <laughs> fighting Benavides, no. Okay, that's what I was going to ask want, you. I can't, I can't keep fighting for nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I keep it's no point in keep fighting we're fighting but what are we fighting for what's the main goal nothing mm-hmm. I'm not doing that I want to fight for something no doubt uh, Anthony thank you so much for your time um, best of luck come November 6 and uh, hold it down for us 37 year olds I appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> thank you have a good one